I just bought the most expensive full-size, adult-size, electric, street-legal motorcycle from Amazon. And according to the picture, it kind of looks like a futuristic two-wheel drive Mars Rover. And with this, we're gonna solve the age-old debate of whether the brand Say Yeah, is that really their name? <laughs> whether the brand Say Yeah is the Honda-killing juggernaut that they claim to be, or whether they're just a scammy Chinese company who are trying to get you on Amazon. Either way, this bike could be yours. Yes, even you, Carlos. Because I'm gonna be giving this thing away to a subscriber. More about that later. But for now, I'm just dying. I'm dying to see what this thing is all about. I'm dying to see what's in here. But I need to admit something to you guys. When I was very young, my parents got me a birthday gift. And like most birthday gifts, it was in a box. And as hard as I tried, I could not get that box open. I used all the tools that I had at three-year-old Sean's disposal, and I still couldn't do it. And on that day, right then and there, I vowed that I would find the best possible way to open up a box. And that no box will ever slow me down again. That's not good. That's not. Nailed it. I think, I think we got it. Okay, we're back here now. I think we can all admit that, that the little experiment we just did, that everyone, we all need an excavator to do mundane tasks around the house. But sometimes a pocket knife works just as well. I should have used an excavator to scoop my ice cream last night. Well, we paid 3,700 bucks for it. Now, if you, it's still online, I think there's like, I think there's a discount for like 3,500 bucks for it. It looked so crazy that I was like, I, there's no way. I gotta buy it. That thing looks like outer space. <laughs> looks like bubble wrap. <laughs> you can't really see nothing, can you? Let's fire this thing up. Nope. I'm actually really excited about this. I mean, do you remember what the Amazon listing looked like? I remember I thought it was cool. That is cool looking. Look at it. <laughs> she kind of like the color. Are these the peg? No, these are not the pegs. Pegs go on there, okay. Okay, let me show you the listing of this thing. So the name of the company is, look, Say Yeah. Say Yeah, 3,000 watt electric motorcycles for, <laughs> Say Yeah, 3,000 watts, lithium battery, rear motor, rear hub motor, motorbike, urban commuting, outdoor field, off-road vehicle, high speed. They're, they're just keyword stuffing this, this thing. It's called Typhoon. The name of this thing is Typhoon Retro. It's retro, retro electric motorcycle. Typhoon is a black <laughs> Typhoon is a Black Panther. <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> Typhoon is a 3,000 watt retro electric motorcycle. Typhoon is a Black Panther. <laughs> Which makes you look wild in the traffic. It can be used for off-road driving. It has three five-star reviews. I can almost get, let's look, let's, let's see if there are, uh, two of them are verified purchases. How did they scam that one? Dan, stop popping the bubbles. It's not even that much fun. Sour grapes, Dan. Sour grapes. The specs for this bike are not that bad. They're fairly impressive. I think it says it can do like 50 miles, 50 mile range, and then it can do 43 or 45 miles per hour. By now, you're probably wondering, what is Craig doing? Well, I gave Craig a task. I said, all right, I spent 3,700 bucks on this. You go spend 3,700 bucks on another motorcycle. So let's go, let's go see what Craig's doing. Okay, so Sean gave me $3,700 to go find something comparable to the bike he's unboxing. I did a little Googling on the Googler and I showed up here at my buddy's uh, scooter shop. We're gonna see if he has something for the money and uh, See what we can find. I like scooters. Look at this. No way. 
Oh yeah, Craig, you're gonna win on that one. <laughs> I like red. I like this one. 49 cc's, 40 miles an hour. This one's in our budget, but it's only 49 cc's. Okay, so they had a lot of good stuff to look at out there, in there, but I think we need something with a little more power. I got an idea, let's go to the next spot. That was my first time driving an excavator. How did it feel? It felt pretty awesome. First, I need to buy some property that I can justify buying an excavator. Then, buy the excavator. Ex excavator. First, learn how to pronounce the word excavator. This thing is halfway put together. Look, look over here. First of all, this paint job is awful. It's so bad looking. What is in here? Watch, watch there be like just a little tiny like children's power wheels style battery inside here. Well, it's not plugged in. This is the battery. It's very small. Wait, this was 72 volts? Check this out. We kept this for Gary bike. And I actually don't remember if this was the stock one or if this was the upgrade one. This is the one six. This is the stock one. We might be able to connect this to that, give it a little bigger battery. All right. We'll get into that in a little bit. Get that thing out of here. That's where you plug it in. They could have used this space to put a bigger battery. There's nothing in here. This is all just hollow. I know a lot of people, they're always asking me like, hey, what, what, what becomes of the bikes from the videos? Well, we don't really get rid of too much stuff, but this bike, we know exactly what's gonna happen with this bike. We're gonna give this bike away to a subscriber who does, who like, they don't, they don't buy a shirt, they don't do nothing. Completely free of charge on our next live stream. We get a lot of people who are like, hey, you guys should do an unboxing live. That's a really good idea. So we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing that. The date might be set. It's gonna be next month, sometime mid next month. Look at the bottom of the description to see if there's a date set. We're doing a live unboxing, giving a lot of stuff away, including this. This is gonna get given away to someone. We'll ship it to you. Don't get scammed. If it's me, uh, I can validate, I can verify it's me. We also have a couple other motorcycles to give away. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but we're gonna unbox this. We're gonna unbox something. I don't know what it is yet. We're gonna unbox a full size motorcycle on screen it's gonna be a blast and you guys get to be with you all of it we take hours and hours and hours and squish it down to a couple minutes you guys get to kind of hang out with us and unbox it ask us questions while we're doing it it's gonna be a lot of fun look at this headlight what's that robot what's that one movie with the robot oh, it's like a kid's movie with a smiley robot this looks like that robot kind of looks like a demon robot these are like horns you know what i mean yikes notice this giant oversized zip tie when I was in high school, the kids would take these big zip ties and go like zip tie people's backpacks to things. Unless you had a pocket knife, you couldn't get it off. These guys sound really cool. Ooh, let me give these cheap manufacturers a, a, a little tip. Let me just give you a little tip. This doesn't look bad, but it has no weight. Dan, feel it. What the heck? They're toys. They feel like toys. What's that line in Jurassic Park? Is it heavy? Yes, then they're expensive. Put it down. Yeah. Put lead in here, put something in here. These should feel a little bit heavier. And then I'd be like, oh, this is, feels really nice. This feels really good. Oh, that's unplugged right there. There we go, get it. This is how they're doing the triple clamp, right? That's different, very different. Make sure you kick them around before you open them. Yeah, I gotta kick them around. Charger, weak. You wanna guess what the toolkit says? Does it say toolkit? Toolkit! <laughs> this is good, so because any company could use this bag and make it their toolkit. Oh, check it out. This is happening. I thought was, at first I thought it was a backrest. I was like, oh cool, but then there's no spot for it, but nothing fits. Like this was never put on. These things were never installed. It looks dumb anyway. I don't even want it. Sour grapes. Sour grapes. <laughs> All right, these are the pegs. And this is pretty simple. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, I will walk this thing straight into, walk this thing straight into Whole Foods and take it back. That paint job is awful. Well, look at this. It just feels so junky. Oh, look. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing down there. It smells pretty good. It's hard to hate new stuff smell. Let's get these handlebars on here, probably with something with this. So these go in here, these little valleys like that. And then, yes. I was gonna say I'm over here achieving perfection, but let's be honest, I'm here just putting together junk. 
but it's still junk that I'm interested in seeing how it goes. Tires are black. That's cool. Okay, next stop's the Honda dealer. Let's see what they have. I don't think we're getting one of these for 3,700. <laughs> Not even the one without the winch. It's not a price tag. Kind of liking it. All right, let's see what they have inside. Okay, so I'm really hoping maybe we can find a Ruckus or a Metropolitan or one of the new ADV 150 scooters, uh, a Grom, that would be great. Anything like that's gonna be right in our wheelhouse, right in our price range, and it's gonna work perfect. Sold. A little more, sold, sold. All right, so that didn't work. They didn't have any Groms or Navis or Ruckuses or ADV 150s. Nothing in the Honda line in that price range. Uh, they sold everything. I got 3,700 bucks burning a hole in my pocket and I can't seem to find a bike to get bought. This is honestly getting a little frustrating, but I got another idea. Dan, come on, let me show you my other idea. I don't know how to get out of this thing. Tell me it's not a face. That's a face. Yeah, that's the mouth, yeah. These are the eyes, horns. Kind of creeping you out, ain't it? You guys are thinking, Sean, why are you so, uh, why are you so wasteful with your money? You spent all this money on this thing. One, this company did not give this to me for free. They would not be that. That'd be pretty dumb. Well, I guess it's dumber that I paid for it. But, but two, I'm buying this and I'm making a video about it. A lot of people are gonna see it so that you don't buy it and that you don't make that mistake. Also, it's leaking, still leaking fluids. Harley guys would love it. Brake fluid everywhere. That's brake fluid? Brake fluid is bad stuff, Brake fluid doesn't go in the handle. <laughs> brake fluid eats. I currently have this review at one star. Zero stars for the price because it's very expensive. Negative five stars for the quality. Two stars because it kind of it kind of looks kind of cool from from the picture. Build quality, negative star. Like stuff like this. Like that's just so poor. Unfortunately, my other idea was in the shop, and I didn't want Sean to know about it, so I needed to be inconspicuous. A little bit that's a little bit concerning. I just have no brakes. You don't need those either. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I didn't. What you doing, Craig? Oh, just moving some stuff around. All right. I gotta give this thing credit. It's pretty easy to put together. Oh, just like the review. Just like that review was right. I think we're ready to fire this thing up. We're not ready to make a left, a right hand turn, but. <laughs> this stuff never rips, it just stretches. A LaFont scooter is exactly what I'm gonna be opening. This thing has actually been sitting on the shelf for months, just lying dormant, waiting for the opportunity to reveal itself. And this is it. We're gonna win. Every once in a while, we get a sponsor. And this video has been sponsored by our boys over at Onyx. I guess there's some girls there too. And if you don't know what Onyx is, Onyx is an off-road map system. You know, kind of like Google Earth, kind of like Apple Maps, except for it's made for people who go off-road. You know, like Google Maps, you can, you can you know, plot a road, but they don't do trails. Onyx does all off-road trails. So if you're looking for a cool place to go off-road and you don't know of anything, that's how you do it. Now, if you get the Onyx uh, Elite, it shows you who owns the property and how big the property is. I'm not trying to get in trouble. The other cool thing I like about Onyx, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you're driving. You can be driving Klaus, the all-wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter van, or you can be driving a dirt bike with your kids. It'll tell you what that trail is capable of. Obviously, the things that my dirt bike can do are much more narrow than what Klaus can do. Although Klaus is very capable. So you guys can go check out the Onyx app. Onyx gave my viewers 20% off their, their subscription. I would check it out. It's, it's really cool. It's a great place to start your adventure. There's a wire. There's a wire like really far. Dan, you have small girlish hands, don't you? Put your tiny hands in here, Dan. Oh, jeez. No, that's not happening. I got a tool for this, Dan. No, they gave us a tool for this. They did? Did they give us a grab alarm? Oh. Oh. 
I got it. I got it. What an awful design. Like, I, this is... Dang it. <laughs> I dropped it in there. <laughs> These are the only keys that actually operate the bike. There's a lightning and a hat. A, a lightning? Let's see if we get this thing to do something. First of all, the engine start button is sideways. It's slightly crooked. Brushless motor engage. Look, look, it's doing stuff. Look. Ready. 48 volts. Wow. Okay, it's on. This is on. But you got to press the on off button. There's modes. One, two, three modes. Wow. Why is there no brakes? I can't ride it without brakes. Exhaust shield. Oh my gosh! Look at this. And there's more. I hit the flavor pack mother load. Look at all that. Oh, like Christmas. We can do this. Box number three. Guessing front tire. is oh those brakes don't work now you guys might not know this but i learned sean i probably put more china bikes together than anyone else on the planet this one here was pretty easy huh there's more stuff nah mirrors okay so we need to tighten the front wheel tighten the mirrors put the battery and put gas in it fire this up beat sean go spend some money Shh. <laughs> <laughs> success all right, so we got the brakes working. We just had to uh, top them off with fluid and get the air bubbles out. But look at this. Look at that caliper. Look at how much you can't. It's locked, unlocked, whatever. It's always freaking out when you're touching it. But watch that caliper. Watch it move. <laughs> it shouldn't do that. Oh, okay. It's like wiggling slightly. It shouldn't move. I think we're ready. Uh, other than I never found a spot for that key, except for this, the, the handlebar lock. Let's put the plate back in. Let's see if it actually works. Shut up, shut up. I, I, didn't, I didn't turn it on, but it, it's on now. Okay, um, okay, now it's off. No, no, now it's unlocked. Press the button. Okay, so apparently the higher the mode, the higher the throttle response is. So let's put this key in my pocket. Let's take this thing out to the streets. And, okay, hold on, I, I, I noticed something else too. Is that like scraping? Oh, no, it's just, it's just broken. It's just broken off. I shouldn't be able to do this. But it can't. <laughs> no resistance of me pulling this thing off. And this had nothing to do with the forklift. So don't try to. Shut up. Why? Why are you just constantly beeping? Will it burn out? Hey. <laughs> I got a little more. I got like a little bit. More. It says like half a star. Yes, so it goes. It said it could do off road. It can. See how fast it goes. 50. <laughs> oh, wait, it's kilometers. No one knows what kilometers means. Let's go, let's go get a helmet on. Because we're safe. Bikes and beards is all about safety and whatnot. Yo, Dan, how cool is that? Wow, it's not, it's not, it's, I mean, for the thing, for whatever it is, it's, it's kind of peppy, I guess. It's actually picking up speed a whole lot, a whole lot faster than what I thought it would. Yup, it's amazing. Interested to see what Craig gets for the same amount of money. We'll see if he can beat me on it, which he definitely can. If Craig, if Craig can, he's fired. <laughs> Let's put the tape. Going down. Let's put the tape. Uh, I didn't feel like pulling this all apart to put the nuts on the inside of the turn signals. You got that for 3,700 bucks? Sure did. 
The first thing obviously we got to do is race. race them. And since these are real motorcycles, we don't have to wear helmets. Tire shredder. Yeah, you like that? On your mark, get set, go. I'm winning. No, I'm not winning. So after not winning the race against Craig's gas bike, we decided to go out into the wild off-road to see if I could not win a race out there too. As long as I continue not to win, Craig continues to have his job. Ben, you record me, I'll record you. <laughs> recording Let's Craig, go. recording Sean. I'll race you anywhere, Sean. Let's go. Electric wins! <laughs> All this racing in the wild, Typhoon Black Panther outdoors reminds me of one of my favorite Bible verses, John 1:14. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And then we found out something that was very surprising about this little electric motorcycle. And that's that it's it's not even street legal. So we found this out after, and they didn't really, they, they kind of hit it. You, you can only find out in the question. It's like, is it street legal? And it's like, they're kind of vague about it. But no, it's not street legal. It's, I don't know what it is. But for, for 3700 bucks, there's no way. This is, I mean, yeah, you see me laughing and giggling a lot while I'm riding it. But this is $500 worth of fun if it lasts a couple of years. If not, I mean, this is a big waste of money. Also, I recognize that bike. That was on the shelf. What did you do with the money? I like it. Hi. Would you take 3,700?